there's a, a famous, it's kind of a famous and infamous maybe uh, question, a physics question, and it asks about the path of a ball moving in a circle once it's released. And I, I needed to use this, a diagram for this for, for a blog post. And so at some point, it's easier to kind of program it than to make it. So I actually programmed it, and I, I've already done it, but I'm going to redo it for you. But here's what we want to make. So here's the a bunch of balls spinning on a circle, and then they take four different paths. And so the question would be, which of these paths is the correct path of the ball? And that's not what I want to look at, right? I want to look at, like, how do you make this? How do you make this animation? Is it easier to draw or is it easier to make? And one of the things that you may notice is that when you are dealing with things that aren't physically real, like that ball, these aren't hard. That ball, really. It's... It's not the easiest. And then how do you make something rotate in WebVPython? So I'm gonna build this all in WebVPython. Um, let's just get started. Now, I, actually I do wanna say one more thing. There are many ways to do this. It's, I think of Python and especially WebVPython like art. You know, some people may wanna sketch the outline of a face and then color everything in. Someone may wanna start with the eyes first. And whatever way works for you is the way that you should do it. So don't think that I'm doing this the only way that it can be done. There are a lot of ways that you could do this. And I don't always do it the best way anyway because I'm not, you know, you just pick up your things. Okay, so we want to make, we want to build our objects. Let's we'll start with a disc and then we need to put something on it to rotate and then we need to make the balls. And so let's, let's do that. So I'm going to start off with some constants that they don't really matter. I'm going to say the radius is 1. Uh, the angular velocity is negative pi radians per second. And that's negative because I want it to rotate in that direction. We could do it the other way too. Uh, I'm going to need time. I'm going to need time step of 0 0.01, which you can change. Um, and let's just go ahead and make the disk. So uh, the disk is a, an object. I'm going to call it a disk, but it's actually an object of type cylinder. And this is not big enough. I like, you know, I like it to be big. It's an object of type cylinder. So the cylinder has a couple properties. It has position, it has radius, it has axis. Um, so let's put it at the origin. I think that's what I did. Is that what I did? I put it at the origin, yep. So let's put this at the origin. Uh, position is equal to vector zero, zero, zero. Uh, the radius is R. And the axis is the vector from uh, Actually, the position is not the center of the cylinder. The position is one side of the cylinder. Um, so we actually can do a little trick here, right? If I want, if I put the axis in the negative direction, um, then the the top will be at uh, at the at the z value of zero. Uh, WebVPython has x and y in the horizontal and vertical, and then z comes out. So let's put axis equals vector zero zero, negative r over 10. Let's just try it because I don't know what it's going to look like. So I'm going to run that. There's my disk, and you can see I can rotate that, and that's how thick it is. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to keep looking at it from the top, but there's my disk, so I'm, I'm making progress. Now, it's a, it's a disk that has no texture, so I could put texture on it uh, or something. You can post an image on it, but if you want to rotate that disk, you wouldn't even know it's rotating because it's perfectly smooth. So what I'm going to do is to put a bar on the disk. Uh, and did I put the which way did I put the bar? I put the bar going up. Okay, so let's let's put a, a bar going from here to there, and then I'm not even going to rotate the disk. I'm going to rotate the bar, and it'll look like the disk is rotating. Right? It's all it's all make believe here, and that's fine. We're just in make believe. So let's make a bar. Oops. Uh, I'm going to call it bar, and it's going to be another cylinder. There's, there's, you could use different objects. I'm going to use a cylinder. And this cylinder is going to start uh, from negative r to positive r in the y direction. So the position of a cylinder, in this case, it's going to be uh, vector neg uh, 0, negative r, zero, right? Because I want it to start down at the bottom and then go up to the top. Uh, the radius, let's say, is r over 20. What did I use? Again, I'm just checking my values I had before because that worked. I did r over 20. Okay. And then um, 
axis is going to be vector 0, 2 times r is 0. And then I'm going to need a color to color equals color dot red. That shows up well. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so there we have it. Now, you'll notice that my, my cylinder is not in the plane of the disk, right? Because the disk is a little bit lower. Uh, we could change that, or we could just say it doesn't matter. I'm going to say it doesn't matter, because you can tell that this whole thing is rotating with or without uh, that bar being raised up a little bit. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, now, I want to rotate this. So, how do you rotate an object in WebVPython? Um, let's just jump over here to the uh, WebVPython uh, documentation. So this is on glowscript.org, and if I click Help, it has all the stuff that I need. So these are all my 3D objects, uh, but what I want to go down to here is... rotation. Okay. So in rotation, I can take an object and say object.rotate, and then I can tell what axis do I want to rotate about, what angle do I want to rotate about, and what origin do I want to rotate about. It's super useful. Okay. So I want to use that to rotate my, my bar. Uh, let's do that. So I'm going to make a loop uh, while t is less than 2. Let's just rotate it for ten sec two seconds. Uh, a time rate of 100, so run in real time. Of course, you can change that. doesn't really matter. Uh, so what I want to do is just to rotate that thing, but before I do that, I'm going to say t is t plus dt, because if you don't put that in there, it'll run forever, and then it's just super awkward. Uh, but I want to rotate that bar, so I'm going to say bar dot rotate. Now, what, what axis do I want to rotate it about? I want to rotate it about the z-axis. So axis equals vector 0, 0, 1. It doesn't matter how big it is. It just, it just needs a direction. Uh, what origin do I want to rotate that about? I want to rotate about the origin, right? I want to rotate about the center of the object. So origin equals vector 0, 0, 0. And then how much do I want to rotate that? Well, if I have uh, omega, every time step, I want to rotate that thing by an, uh, an amount omega times dt. So I'm going to say angle equals omega, which I'm using w, times dt. And I think this will work. Let's just see. Let's just see if it works. Check that out. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Rotating. I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? And it's in 3D if you want it. It's cool. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our ball onto the track. Let's add one at a time. And I'm just going to leave them on the track. No, I'm going to go ahead and animate it. Okay, so um, there's a reason I picked pi. Because if I put this at one second, watch where it stops. Okay, so it did, one, it did half a rotation. So I'm going to put the ball on the x-axis and then let it rotate around and shoot uh, at the, at the, on the negative x-axis. Um, but I'm going to make that ball b1 equals sphere. Uh, and the position, the initial position is going to be vector uh, r0, 0, 0. So on the, on the origin. And I made that first one. What color to make that one? Cyan. I'm going to use the same color. Uh, color equals color dot cyan. I need a radius. Radius equals, what did I use? I used r over 10. Uh, and I'm, I also want it to make a trail, but I don't want it to make a trail until, until it gets released. So I'm going to say make trail equals false, but it's there. And I'm going to say, uh, what was it called? You can, going back to, I'm going to, I'm not even going to bring it up, but there is um, documentation on that. Trail type equals points. Otherwise, it'll leave a line. Trail type not type, type equals points, and then interval equals five. So this is, I'm going to make it leave a dot, and then so I'm going to leave a dot every fifth calculation. That's what it's going to do. But it's not going to do it because it's, it's on false. Okay, so there's my ball. Let's just run it and make sure the ball works. It's always a good idea to run things. There's my ball. Okay, now I could, 
I could calculate the velocity and, and update the position, but I could also, it's not real physics thing. I could just animate it with the rotate again. So let's just rotate this using the rotate function. So b1.rotate, and I'm gonna rotate it about the axis vector zero, zero, one. I'm gonna rotate about the origin, origin equals vector zero, zero, zero. And then the angle is the same, angle equals omega times dt. Let's run it and see if that works. There we go. Rotating ball, see that's pretty good. Okay, now for this first ball, once it's released, I want it to move away from the disc, just straight out, which is not real, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna give it a velocity, but all my balls are gonna move after this point. So I'm gonna keep the disc rotating. I'm gonna start a new loop. So going down here, uh, let's make a new loop. I do need my velocity. Uh, what did I use? Oh yeah, it, it, let's use the actual velocity. So I'm gonna call this VR equals uh, negative r times omega and it's negative because I want just the magnitude of it and then I can do that So down here for my ball, I'm gonna say b1 dot v the velocity of that ball I want it to move in the negative x direction. So it's going to be vr times vector negative one zero zero and then I also want to turn on the trail so b1 dot tr dot make trail equals true in the next loop, I'll say while t is less than 2, uh, rate 100, I need to uh, move the ball. So b1.pos is b1.pos plus b1.v times dt. So that's the same numerical calculation that we've always done uh, using the velocity to update the position of the ball. And then I need to rotate the bar too. So I'm just going to copy this right there. I don't need to retype it. I need to rotate it again the same amount, but I do not want that indented. And I almost forgot t equals t plus dt. Awkward if that wasn't there. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, except that it seems like it's running a little too long. Let's just do this at 1.5 seconds. That's what I did before. Let's do two tricks. I'm going to put this at uh, to 1.5 seconds. And then I want to kind of not have the thing zoom out, right? I want it to already be zoomed out. So here's the trick that I use for that, which is totally the wrong thing. Um, I'm gonna call, make a hidden sphere, not really hidden. Uh, the position is gonna be vector uh, negative three times r zero zero. And then the radius is gonna be zero, 0 0.001, so super tiny. So I'm gonna make a ball over there. The V Python will zoom out so it can see the whole thing, uh, but then it won't have to. It won't have to manually zoom. Excellent. Okay, let's make the next ball. So the next ball I want to launch off here at a 45 degree angle. So let's go over here. Uh, let's make a second ball. Copy that. Copy when you can copy, right? Uh, and then I can change this to B2. It's the same position. What color did I give that second one? Uh, I gave that one a color of what? Magenta. And then down here on this case, I don't actually even need to do this because you won't see it, but I'm gonna put it here anyway. So let's copy this and backspace it and then put this at B2, oops. And then that should be fine, that rotates it. And then down here, I need to make my new velocity. B2.V is gonna be equal to VR times. Now, I want it to have a, a velocity VR, but moving at a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna use a trick, norm vector uh, negative, one, negative one, one, zero. So that means it'll still have a velocity VR, right? Because this, direction is I'm going to take the unit vector of it and it's not going to change the total magnitude and then I need to turn on the trail b2 dot make trail equals true again this is a joke uh, and then down here I need to update the position b2 dot pos equals b2 dot pos ooh, pos plus b2 dot v times dt and then I'm going to run that are we having fun? 
We got two more balls. Excellent. Like it. Okay, now the next ball is going to be color yellow. Yeah, yellow. And this is going to be the one that's just going to be launched off uh, in the correct direction. So it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing, right? Oops, that was bad. Uh, I'm going to say B3. So copy this. And call that B3. And then uh, this is going to be color yellow. And then this will be uh, down here. Copy this. And then this is B3. And then down here, I need to set the velocity. So B3.V is going to be VR times vector 0, 1, 0. So it's in the positive y direction. And then the, the B3.make trail equals true. And then down here, uh, pretty easy, B3.POS. B3.POS plus B3.V times dt. And let's run that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. What did I do before the other one? Okay, so the kind of curve path is difficult, right? Um, let's just make the ball. And then, and then we'll, we'll make its motion because these are just constant velocity, but I don't want constant velocity anymore. Uh, so make B4. And I said, what did I say color it was? Uh, magenta, yellow, green, green. And it's B4. And then I'm down here, copy this, paste that, uh, B4. And then down here, I need to set my initial velocity. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. B4.V equals, actually, I don't even need that. Let's not even do that. I don't even need the velocity. I'm not going to use the velocity because it's not moving at a constant velocity. But I do need to turn the trail. B4.make trail equals true. Now, down here, I want to move the ball every time. And I want to move it. I want to move it in a direction. Um, what I want to do is move it further from the origin and then rotate it. So that's how I'm going to I'm going to make it kind of stay with the same rotational speed, but just move further and further away. And I think that will give us the desired effect. So let's say B4.POS. I want to move it away from the origin. So I'm going to say it's going to oops B4.POS plus okay. I want to move it some amount. I'm going to say 0 0.2 times VR. That's the that's the step. That's the velocity away from it. Uh, and then I want to multiply that by a unit vector in the direction of the ball. So times norm uh, B4.POS. Right. So that's going to give me a vector. That's going to give me a velocity moving away from the radius. Do you see how that works? Um, that's what I did. And then I need to multiply that by dt. So that's just going to keep moving it further and further away from the origin. And now I want to rotate it. So B4, actually I can just copy the same thing up here. I'm going to rotate it. I think that should work. Okay, let's see. Yep, perfect. Now, if you want to change the interval of the dots or the size of the dots, you can do that. If you want to change this path so that it moves more out or less out, you can do that by changing that 0.2 in front of the VR. But now I have my I have my thing and it's even in 3D. And so, you know, this is one of those examples where I think it's easier to model it with Python than it is to draw it. And it's definitely better than just finding some image online and taking it. I think this is a pretty good image. I'm pretty happy with it. So that, oh, you know what, Did that continue to rotate the bar it did okay cool excellent very happy link to the code down below in case you want it but again you know you want to think about how do you draw these things and then if I want to use this again I can use my same thing again that's it the end talk to you guys later